Hi there, welcome back to Lotto Scratchin'. I hope you're having a happy-go-lucky day. So today I have a different kind of video for you. As you can see in front of me, it is my recording setup. So a little behind the scenes. Um, I thought I'd share because some people I noticed were having some struggles with their recording setup, so I thought I would share mine. Uh, this is in no way an affiliate type thing. I'm not gonna make any money uh, from the purchase, you purchasing anything or anything like that. It's nothing like that. I just legit wanted to share and um, hopefully be helpful to you all. So what do I love about this setup? Um, I love that it was budget friendly and it's reliable and it's versatile. It's easy to assemble, it's easy to move. Those are the best qualities um, I could hope for. <laughs> so, and I'll show you the versatility in a minute. Um, and at first I thought I'd share a little bit more information, like pricing information and what you're looking for. So um, basically over here on the left, we have the monitor mount. If you can see that comes across to here. And then this becomes the ball head phone mount from there. And that's how you attach your phone. And I guess you can attach other accessories. I don't have any experience with that, but you can look into that. Um, <clears throat> okay, and then back over here, you can see uh, this pole is 16 inches. And that is $23.99 for this particular mount setup this, um, for the 16 inch one. They make one that's 31.5 inches. Um, and you may have a need for that. That's going to definitely raise you up higher or give you more um, options for um, height. So, but anyway, that one is $29.99. Um, but like I said, mine is $23.99. And then this ball head mount was separate from a different company, the newer company, N E E W E R. And it was uh, $14.95. So my total was $38.84. If you go 31.5, it will be just under $45 at $44.94. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and also say hi to my son because he's helping me film today. <laughs> and so please, I, I appreciate uh, patience <laughs> with uh, wobbly cameras. We're, we're kind of, we're, this is our recording setup here. <laughs> Okay, um, Okay. so what's great about this is this is really versatile. Each one of these can be adjusted with a, um, Allen, what is the Allen wrench, right? Allen mm -hmm. wrench. So, um, and you just pop it in here and you turn it, you know, and I will go ahead and show you that here. Uh, this one is, you know, surprisingly adjustable, but, oh, trying to do this and see what I'm doing at the same time and not hit the phone. Am I going the right way, Lefty Lucy? Right, yes. All right, so you can see it goes all the way up and even all the way back. I mean, that's pretty pretty fabulous. And I bet you it would even, oh no, it doesn't go any further than that. Okay, well that's good then. We'll go ahead and tighten that up there. Uh, I think I want it right about there. I can always adjust that later. Did I make it too low? I think I did. <laughs> uh, let me adjust it. Uh, there we go. I like it just a little bit higher than the flat, flattest spot. Okay. Oh, so, and you would do the same thing here and here and here. All right, so that's how that works. And then back here, you just shimmy this up or down depending on where you want it on the pole. It's not fixed. Um, I don't like that in one hand because it does kind of slide over the course of a week. Um, but I can usually catch it because the screen will look a little different when I'm filming. I'll know, you know. And then while I'm at it, um, wire maintenance or what is that called? Wire management. Wire management, yes. <laughs> wire management. So you've got this the wires that you can come up here and then they can slide through these little clips which come on and off. So that's a nice feature as well. Um, and here's the ball joint. So how this works is um, you would just 360 degrees. Ooh, let's not break it. <laughs> All right, so then you can 
just a quick little twist um, they're in the correct direction because of course I'm filming and I don't remember how to do it all of a sudden um, yeah just a little twist and there you go and then here there's a uh, go ahead and can you see me get over here yep so on this side excuse me there's a little knob that widens this and that's how you make this part wider for wider phones so and you definitely want to make sure that you slide the phone I'm trying to find my hand uh, slide the phone inside that you know into this groove so it's nice and sturdy and then you just tighten it up tighten it right back up okay all right so handing the back to you um, so my phone has a pop socket this one doesn't uh, so with my phone you have to kind of scoot it further this way because the pop socket kind of interferes that may be something you want to consider okay all right so how does this fasten down over here we have a clamp and you want to make sure that you have even surface on both sides the side and the side at least the distance of the clamp needs to be nice and flat so um, it's you know nice and sturdy I mean this thing is not going anywhere <laughs> it's very well mounted in there so and that is down here do you do you have that in the picture yeah yeah that's from down here so all right so you can move this around really easily and you can basically maneuver it however you need to it's it's just a really good little setup for under 40 bucks very very pleased with it i got both parts off of amazon and um it was here within like three or four days both parts so it was, it was really quick everything was packaged well nothing was missing um yeah just overall really good oh and it's free shipping with prime i don't know if i said that or not <laughs> okay so how this works is basically this when you buy this part it comes with a monitor mount that goes right here. It looks like that. And you just don't put this little part right here on. Instead, you screw this part on. Well, this part, this is the newer brand that it is. Ah, there we go. So that's how that works. And it's all done with Allen wrenches and the tools are included basically. So it's very simple. So something to consider is um, when you're filming for long periods of time, make sure that you um, consider the height of your desktop and things like that. Because, for example, I just recently did this video and, oh my goodness, my back was killing me. It was 40 minutes long and 40 minutes plus, I should say, and I was standing the whole time uh, because if I were to sit, I wouldn't be able to see this view right here. I would only be able to see down here and I wouldn't know what was going on up here. And with a long ticket, you know, wouldn't work. So that was a doozy. So overall, just consider uh, the height you're going to be working at and filming at. Um, and, you know, like I said, that is very adjustable. Over here, you can go, I mean, all the way down if you need to. Um, so, but in up higher, and if you need to go even higher still, you can do that with a, with a different mount, the 31 and a half inch mount. Okay, so this is what it looks like, uh, just in case you're wondering, this is an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and it is set at 0.5 currently. Um, I can press the one and I'm zoomed in. This is generally where I start, and then I move to the two to, to really zoom in, and as you can see, that works really well. And one thing that is nice is, even though I'm touching the screen, you do see a little jit jitter, um, but it is very quickly recovered, you know what I mean? So um, even though it's jittering now, it, like when I first press it, within a couple seconds it's down, so. All right, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, here's some instructions, but you know, you can look at these online. Um, I was basically wanting to show you, it's Wally brand and newer brand. And you know, this is, <laughs> yes. And this is the, the mount that it comes with, but you're not using. That was something that did trip me up just a little bit when I was uh, putting this together. And I don't know if I said this already, but it took me about 20 minutes from start to finish, opening the boxes and cleaning up. So, all right. So I found this um, set up through Carol Annette, who does nail tutorials quite a while back. 
Um, her, I checked, her video is still valid and still up. Um, and I thought it was a brilliant hack. She goes more in depth than I do here uh, with install and comparison to more higher priced mounts. Um, but yeah, if you want to check that out, I will have her links down below as well as the links to each of these pieces here. And um, I want to thank you for coming. I hope I've helped you in some way today. And you know, everybody needs a little help every once in a while. And sometimes it's the little things like, you know, a cheaper version of something that's going to make your life easier. So I hope that I was able to offer that to you today. Um, and I hope either way that you have a great day. And thank you for stopping by. Click like if you liked what you saw today and press that subscribe button and notification bell if you want to see more scratching videos in the future and maybe more behind the scenes. We'll see. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye.